Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and today's video is going to look at staking on the Cardano network which is really great news for those of us that have been hodling Cardano for a long time now. So staking is finally live on the mainnet. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how to stake using your ledger wallet, your hardware wallet and then I'll show you on the Daedalus wallet as well if you were just using the wallet on your own desktop. With the mainnet now live, I will be doing more videos on Cardano. So if this is the first of my videos you've seen, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to never miss any of the videos. Also feel free to share this if you feel it can help someone else and also give it a like and let me know down below what your thoughts are. So first of all, you should see a second camera here set up over my ledger. So you will be able to follow the process completely what's going on on screen and on my ledger. So we'll start off with Ada Light. Make sure you get to the correct website. There are lots of scams out there, phishing scams. This is adalight.io is the official one here. So when you come on, we go for hardware wallet. And right now I am going to use a Ledger Nano. So I'm using the Ledger Nano S as this is a wallet I use for testing. I did upgrade to the Ledger Nano X last year and find it really good. It can hold a lot more, but the Ledger Nano S I still use for testing because functionality is basically the same. So unlock with Ledger and you can see I get this pop up message on my screen and I can ignore that. I actually need to be in the Cardano app so I can see click into Cardano and you can see it's still giving me this error message on my screen, but the app is actually asking me to export the public key. So I will go ahead and do that. Click in the two buttons then the right one to agree. Once again, I'm getting this Windows security message. You can ignore that. Export the public key, yes. Confirm export, yes. And now we are logged into the wallet. So you can see the latest news here. Not going to go through that now. It's just talking about staking being live. So we'll close. And then you can see I have put 100 ADA into this wallet. You have this new tab here called staking. So I go into that and you can see that I have a staking balance of 100. Now, when I done this on my Ledger Nano X, where I had Cardano from the previous release of the Cardano network, it was under non-staking balance. And I had an option over here. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I had to transfer that into the staking balance, but it was a step-by-step -step process. So how I can actually delegate my stake then is over here on the right-hand side. So you can see they have automatically selected a stake pool here. What this is, is the Ada Light stake pool. There isn't a whole lot of difference in any of the pools. Some of the smaller pools, you might earn slightly less. Some of the larger pools might have more fees. You might earn a little bit more, but on balance, unless you are putting in a huge amount of Cardano, then the difference it isn't going to be a major difference to you. Ada Pools is a really good website to go through them. I will take you through that after. For the purposes of this video, I am just going to use the Ada Light address here. So I come over here, what it does as well is it will stake all of the balance that's in your wallet. But with staking, the funds always stay in your wallet and you can move them away at any stage. So. You don't have to worry about losing control of your funds or anything like that. It is always within your control and it's not locked in. You can move it and do whatever you want with it at any stage. So I'm going to delegate this to the Ada one. If you want to do another one, you just remove that and paste in the pool that you want to assign it to. So delegate and it's telling me what the fees are. The fixed cost is generally 340. The tax then is on the earnings, what you're going to pay towards the pool. And this is generally between two and 5%. But again, it's not going to make a huge difference to you unless you have, I would say, high hundreds of thousands over a million in Cardano. So I will do a further video to show you how to pick a stake pool and what you should take into consideration. But I'll leave that for another one. Confirm transaction. And now we get that error message again but you can see on my ledger, it has start new transaction. So I click yes, and then I wait, and then it gives me the transaction fee. I confirm that. The epoch that it is going into, that is the current epoch 
in the network and then register staking key yes staking key it's given me the staking key here again you can confirm all of this this information delegate to the stake pool so this is the stake pool that you're delegating to so again just confirm that that is the one that you are going to staking key confirm delegation confirm transaction And as this is happening, just ignore the Windows messages popping up with the errors. Now waiting for commands. So the transaction is submitted and it is now syncing the wallet. So what you will see is my staking balance here. What you is actually down here, current delegation. So you can see it has appeared here. So my funds are currently delegated to this stake pool. Again, you can change it at any time. You can put in a new stake pool here and re-delegate your funds. I can still move these funds away at any stage. It's completely up to you what you do with your own funds. So the other part of this is the Daedalus wallet, which is the main Cardano wallet. Currently, you cannot stake using your ledger or using your hardware wallet through this wallet, but that functionality is being built in. And when it's live, I will do another video on that. If you want have funds sitting in your Daedalus mainnet wallet and you want to stake them, again, go into over here, this symbol here on the left, go to the delegation center and you can see here the wallet that I have. So if you only wanted to uh, delegate a certain part of your funds, you can have them in different wallets. So just create a second wallet, put the funds into that one that you want to delegate. Come over here, click delegate. So I'm gonna to have to select my wallet, select the stake pool and then confirm. So I'll click continue. So wallet is main one. I'm going to continue. Again, they have all these stake pools. It doesn't really matter what we stake to. I'm gonna pick a random one because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me right now. But if you have someone that you follow, I may even set up a stake pool of my own at some stage. If I do, I'll put the details below. But if you're following someone and you want to help support them, then you can click on their stake pool. So continue. This is the fee. So the sending password is just your wallet password. Confirm. Actually, you can hide the ledger. It's only in the way there. So now I'm just waiting for this to be confirmed. So going to the love stake pool, my main one wallet. Main one is just the name that I gave it. And it's just taken a second here. So wallet delegated, stake from your wallet is now delegated. And it's telling me that these preferences will take effect after both the current and next Cardano epochs have completed in five days, eight hours and 19 minutes. So it does take time for before you start earning rewards, but then after the initial wait period, it will become regular after that. Okay, so that's it. Any questions, leave them down below. As I say, give the video a like, share it if you feel it can be useful for others. Let me know ideas of what you would like to see now that I am back. Going to be doing more regular videos. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys very soon.